Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I was sitting in my car at a red light, thinking about what I was going to order at the restaurant. I had no idea that I would be going to jail. Tara Campbell Hatcher, her husband and two-year-old daughter were involved in a minor accident Saturday evening, which should have been no more than a minor inconvenience. But that changed when the officer ran her driver's license number. So he had me go and look at the computer and there it was, black and white. My name, my, my birthday, my social, um, it was all there. What they saw was a warrant for her arrest, second degree trafficking in a controlled substance, stemming from a 2009 indictment out of Powell County. Tara was arrested. You know, I had to put my hands where they could see them. I was fingerprinted. I have a mugshot now. But that wasn't the worst part for Tara. As I was being arrested, my daughter was getting loaded into the ambulance. And as a mother, I know a lot of women could probably relate to that feeling. And I hope you never have to feel it, but I never want to feel it again. In those moments, I had no freedom. You know, I was Tara Campbell criminal, Tara Campbell drug trafficker, not Tara Campbell mom, business owner, wife, uh, taxpayer. I was none of those things. I was, Tara Cam I was Tara Campbell criminal. Tara posted her bond later that night, and by Monday morning, the Commonwealth attorney in Powell County was dismissing those charges, admitting they had arrested the wrong Tara Campbell. If the officer has the, de the date of birth and the social security number for, for the suspect, we always put that in the indictment. Now on this one, that information was not in the indictment. At this point, nine years after the indictment, authorities can only speculate that what happened was that Tara Campbell's information was obtained from a recent speeding ticket she had gotten driving through Powell County a couple months earlier. But the mistake has been corrected. Um, I have a letter stating, you know, it was misidentification, which is somewhat relief for me. Over, it's the first sense of control that I have over the situation, um, which is a big thing for me because um, I want to be able to say, hey, you know, my name's Tara Campbell, but not that Tara Campbell. Powell Commonwealth Attorney Daryl Harold says that his office will make sure this case of mistaken identity is taken care of and permanently removed from her record. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.